get ready for a deep low lunge with the back knee down. So place a blanket on your sticky mat as you see here. And that will be the padding for the knee that will drop down. And then stand at the front of your sticky mat with a block on either side of each foot. Stand tall in mountain pose. Stand tall in mountain pose with energized legs. And then bring your hands down to the blocks and step your left foot back. Gather the outer right hip back and in. Lift the back thigh up. Lengthen the spine from bottom to top. Long trunk here, long abdomen. And let your hips sink down to be the height of the front knee. And then let your hips sink even further down as you reach the left thigh further back and then place the left knee down on the blanket and then untuck your back toes. So the front of the shin and the front of the foot and the back leg is resting down on the blanket and the sticky mat and sink your hips forward and down. So the whole sacrum is relaxing and releasing forwards and then lift your low belly so that you lift your trunk up and out of the pelvis, bending deeply in the front knee, pull the outer right hip back, pull the right femur back towards the hip socket, pull the outer right hip back and also towards the midline. Gather your hips towards each other, lift the low belly, kick the back shin into the sticky mat. And then tuck your back toes under, lift your back thigh and step your back foot forward. Then now step your right foot back, first coming into a simple lunge. Gather the left femur back towards the hip socket. Lift the back thigh. Let your hips come down to be the same height as the front knee. Gather your hips together and lengthen your spine. And then walk your right leg even further back. Extend that right thigh further back. Sink your hips down and then lower the back knee down onto the blanket and rest the top of your back foot down onto the sticky mat. Kick the right shin down into the ground as you take your hips forward, letting the whole sacrum move forward. The tailbone moves into the body and then lift your low belly and gather your outer left hip from the outer knee to the hip socket. So the outer left hip gathers back and in towards the midline. Squeeze your outer hips together, lift the deep low belly again, and lengthen through the anterior spine, kicking the right shin down. Bending deeply in the front knee. Smooth breathing here. And then tuck your back toes and lift your back thigh. And step your back foot forward. Bend your knees, relax and release your head down. And then take your hands to hips and stretch your chest forward to come on up. And now we'll practice a deep lunge with a side bend. So lower your hands down onto the blocks and step your left foot back into a lunge. Deep in the lunge, keep the back leg active. Gather the right femur into the hip socket. And then elongate the left leg further back and lower the back knee down. Let the tailbone move into the body and lift the low belly. Gather your outer right thigh towards the hip. So pull from the outer right knee to the outer hip energetically. And then take the block that's on the right side of your foot and move that block all the way out to the right in line with your right hip and out to the side. And then take a side bend into that right hand which is on the block. 
So we're in a deep lunge and then adding a side bend to that as well. Leaning over to the right, gathering that outer right femur into the hip socket, and then gather both outer hips towards each other. Lift the low belly, let the sacrum move forward towards the front heel, bend further to the side. And then swing your left arm around, back down to the block. Lift your back thigh up as you tuck the toes. And step your back foot forward. And then bend your knees and step your right foot back into a lunge for the other side. Square your hips here by gathering the left femur towards the hip socket. Keep the back inner thigh lifting. Lengthen the spine here, buoyant in the belly. Reach the right thigh further back and then drop the right knee down. And then let the pelvis sink forward towards that front heel. Lift the low belly. Gather your outer hips in and take the block that's under your left hand and move it all the way out to the side in line with your left hip. And then start to side bend yourself, lifting the right arm up and over, side bend to the left. Let the tailbone move forward, bend the front knee, lift the low belly, kick the right foot into the floor and bend even deeper to the side. Side bending to the left. Gather the outer left thigh from the outer knee to the outer hip and gather the hips towards the midline. Tailbone anchoring deeper into the body. And then swing your arm forward and around to come back to the block. Lift the back thigh to come into a simple lunge again. And then step your back foot forward, soft knees, hands to the outer hips, stretch your chest forward and come up. Now we'll practice warrior one with the back heel on the wall. So set up as you see here, the right foot forward and the left heel on the wall, square hips, feet about hips width apart. Hands on hips, lengthening the waist. Lift your arms up overhead. Lift the low belly to lift from underneath the heart, to lift from under the collarbones. Keep lengthening up through the arms and then bend the right knee so the knee comes directly over your right heel and press your left heel into the wall. And see if you can square the hips. Pull your right femur back to pull the outer right hip back. And let the left hip come forward so that you find yourself more square, but keep your back thigh engaged so that your back leg is very straight. And bend the front knee forward and then lift the low belly to lift the rib cage, to lift the arms, spread the hands. Make more space between your thumbs and your back heel. Pull the outer right hip back and towards the midline. And then inhale and straighten your front leg. And exhale, push your back foot off the wall to change sides. And now bring the left foot forward and step your right heel back onto the wall. Make sure that your feet are hip width apart. And then square your hips, left hip back, right hip forward. And then lengthen the sides of your waist up. Let your shoulders go back. Lift the whole rib cage. And then stretch your arms up, pulling the thumbs back, stretching the pinky fingers up. And keep pressing your back heel into the wall as you bend your front knee deeply. And then square the hips again, pulling the left femur back. Lift the low belly. And then lift your rib cage three-dimensionally upwards. See if you can find a deep internal ascension through the front of the spine. And continue that lift up through the armpits and through the extended arms, strong and straight in the back leg. Back heel presses into the wall. Front knee reaches forward. And then inhale and straighten the front leg. 
and exhale your arms out to the sides and down, hands to hips, and step your feet together to recover. Now we'll do a quad stretch with the wall, and you need a blanket and two blocks as well. Please fold up the blanket as you see here and place that folded blanket on the sticky mat and against the wall. And then sit on your shins directly in front of that blanket with your back pointing towards the wall. And then have the blocks underneath your hands alongside your body. And inch yourself back so that your feet are up on the blanket and your knees are still on the mat. And then as you see here, place your left shin against the wall so the left knee is on the blanket and the top of your foot is pressing against the wall and then lean into the blocks with your hands so that you can place your right foot between the blocks so that front leg is in a front leg lunge position and start to pull the whole sacrum forward towards the front heel and kick the top of your back foot into the wall, make your hips square. Pull the outer right hip back and in. Think of squeezing your hips from the outer to the inner. Gather your hips towards each other and lift your low belly up off of the pelvis. And as you lunge here, think of the front of the pelvis lifting. Think of the kidney area, the back of your rib cage, the lower back ribs lifting and spreading. Bend the front knee, square the hips, gather the hips, lift the low belly, let the tailbone moon move in, lift the frontal hips, lengthen the spine. And then move the blocks forward a little bit, bring your front shin down, and then bring your back shin down, and we'll switch sides. Now bring the right knee onto the blanket, lean into the blocks and step your left foot between the blocks, and kick the top of your back foot into the wall. Pull the outer left hip back and in. Squeeze your outer hips together and lift the low belly, lift the front of the pelvis, Lengthen all the way through the spine, through the top of the head. Spread the back bottom rib area. Lift the front of the pelvis again and then sink the tailbone forward and in, deeper into your body, bending that front knee. Enjoy having those blocks to support the hands and the arms, to support your upper body. Again, gather those hips together, square and gather the hips. Low belly lifting, front of the pelvis lifting, sink deeper into the lunge. And then come out of the pose, bringing the front shin down and then the back shin down. Hands on thighs, breathe here to recover. Now we'll practice a lovely, simple version of Supta Baddha Konasana without any props. So lay down on your back and adjust the flesh of your buttocks so it moves away from the lower back. And then bring the soles of the feet together and the knees open. And we'll do this with no support so that Gravity is your prop here. Gravity is what's helping you and informing you in this pose. See if you can just surrender your legs to gravity. And let your shoulder blades slide down your back and then stretch your arms out in a Shavasana position so that you can relax here. Let your trunk and spine be long, See if you can breathe here with your whole body. Relaxing the pelvis and the buttocks, relaxing the groins. 
Feel where your body is making contact with the floor. Contact with the sticky mat. And then start to lift your knees up. You can use your hands to help you if that feels right. Feet flat. And then roll over to your side to come on up. <laughs> 